This is Hassan Mike Barry, and I'm here to start our first programming session with Python. And hopefully, um, we get this going as we go. And uh, here we go. If you missed the last uh, video, we installed something called that PyCharm Community Edition, which links to Python 3.6. And uh, I'm going to use that. All right, so when you open that, you basically, you are going to see, here we go, it was a little bit off, to create a new project, uh, I'm simply going to go and name it, so you're going to go and let's say, I don't know, first, this is my first where's my f here we go first oh that's odd my f doesn't work for some our oh, first program so the name there's no space or anything we're going to create that And here we go. So, since this is coming up, all right, so everything is ready. Uh, it says first program folder. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create the simple Python file. Let's call it main to begin with. And the thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger that we can see better so we don't need to zoom in or zoom out. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here, go to the editor and just change the font here to, let's say, not that big. I think 25 would be okay. Here we go. And we are ready to go. The first things you're going to learn in each programming language is how to comment. Documentation is really, really important for uh, creating documents and basically comment stuff uh, for, for later on for yourself to come and revisit the code or for your code workers or someone you work with to come back and check your code. So basically in Python, for a single line comment, we just use hashtag. So this is for making single line comments. Here we go. And for multi lines, basically we just go three pole single code, which is open this scope here for us. And we can say right here, we can make or write Okay, basically we can write more than one line comments. Sorry, if you see any typos or anything, just ignore it. Here we go. And the author of this code is some actor. So I'm writing it. You see, it tells you in a sense there have a typo. But my name is not typo. You can actually check it for spelling if you like. But that's how you make single and multi-line comments. Instead of three single quotation, you can go three double. And here also, this also works to make comments. Later, we're going to learn that um, basically threefold basically quotations used to indicate string i'm assuming you guys know a little bit of programming and know what the strings are but we're going to continue and we clarify this as we go the most important part of each program basically is input and output so if you consider a program program has inputs it goes in oh And it basically process 
that input and uh, create or generate output. So today we are going to basically cover input and output and uh, later on we're going to learn um, about variables. So variables are, let's say, is a placeholder for your uh, numbers, for your names, for your strings, for any kind of data you take as an input. So you want to restore it, use variables. Variables can be anything, can be a number, can be a decimal number, can be fractional, can be anything. We'll get to it when we get to it. So we're going to cover these two. Let's start with the basically output first. So we're going to uh, start, let's go here, start with output. In uh, Python, simply, if you want to output something, you just write print. Basically, here we go. Print is a reserved word. As you can see, it just pops up like that. Print um, is some, what's a reserved word? Reserved word is something that your program actually understands. It's a simple command. It, you can't really use it for any other thing except just using it. So here is a print, and we open the parentheses. And here I am going to do single quotation and write my name. All right, let's test this out. Python accepts single line, single quotation or actually quotation for any kind of string. So you can actually write this that way. Some programs has uh, quotations like that for strings only. In Python, can use both. So a single and double basically work the same. And I'll tell you what's the benefit of that in a second. So let's do that. See, both of my names actually show up. Um, let's say, now I wanna, how do I print single quotation or double quotation? Let's say, I'm gonna start with double and say the course Python syntax is awesome. So you can see here that I use the apostrophe here and uh, it doesn't affect in anything because the scope that shows my text or my string um, basically here to here and this dub is actual quotation. We are gonna do that again. Uh, this time I'm gonna use single and say okay the the Python is the greatest I'm gonna Code the greatest like that. Language of all the time. See what I did? I press enter to go to the next line. Right there, if you look at it, it works just fine. It's okay. In Python, for each command, uh, you don't need to specify with semicolon or anything like that. You guys might know other languages. But in this, you just write. It's a script language, and just go with it. Here we go. You see, I print those here. No sweat. And this one there. So if I want to use the single or double, I can just alternatively uh, change these two to whatever I want. And now we are, um, what if I want to have both? What should I do? All right, that's a good question. We're going to say print. Let's say I want to print. Let's combine these two. I don't know. Python's uh, 
syntax is awesome. I just want to use both of them. So what I do, I can use the combination of that. So I can do like double quotation or triple quotation and double quotation here. No, not the double triple, sorry. Here we go. And that also works. So now I have the single and double and triple actually indicates uh, the basically boundary for my text or my string. There we go. Let's print. Here we go. You see, there is a that and there is this. There is no one way to do things here in Python. The old fashioned way that is available and is valid in many languages also works here. You can simply use your single. So, okay, I'm just going to go Python. Is, let me move this. An awesome language. However, all right, there's a typo here. I think I type, mistyped the awesome. How do you write awesome? There's an E here, I guess. Yep. Let me fix those. As you can see, I'm not really great with dictation here. All right, great. And now I want to write the, I want to have an apostrophe here like that. And I want to have quotation here. So it's messed everything up. However, instead of using triple, I just want to use the single. The trick is you basically, you can use backslash um, S or backslash next to the one that you want to use and print, and that actually works. So you can do that. Where is it? Here we go. And that. So these also can be used many, many languages, like Java and other things actually work that way. Um, but that also works. So you can basically print it out. And you see you have the exact same thing as you did before. This is simple uh, printing things out. Uh, what if you want to print things in